All right, so we're gonna do this again with your right angle here. So again, here's the neighborhood. So right here is Fisher's house with Baron the dog. As you can see, here's our house. See, so I got my car in there, plenty of space still in there for your car too. Got your adorable front right door. Your porch over here. I'm gonna come in through the garage. As you can see, it's got a little bit of shelving in here. A little rack for putting the bike. We've got the boxes from the bed over here. My car. A little heating, a hot water heater there. I'm gonna go ahead and close the garage door here. someone you might know. <laughs> He's happy to be in his new home. It's back into the house, the dining room. Going into the kitchen. Again, kitchen good size, got your pantry. Again, this living room is freaking massive. You can see I got the TV and this is the 40 inch TV, but you can see there's still a ton of room in there. So we got plenty for the other TV. Check this out. That's how you turn on the heater. Or should I say the fireplace? Now you're finally gonna get to see the upstairs. So fully carpeted. Sure, I don't think it's real wood, wood flooring. Guest bathroom. Good size shower tub there. This right here is probably gonna be the office. I got some stuff in here. This is where I'm gonna be setting up the internet over here. I like this for the office because it's got built-in shelving over here. Plus, if you look outside, you got the view. So nice, something to think about when you're working. Good size closet too. And here's the other spare room that I think will probably wind up just being like your yoga room or upstairs, like a little hangout room. Again, slightly bigger than the other one. Get your view outside. closet here. Now we'll move on to the guest bedroom, which is where your mom will sleep and any other guests we have here. Plenty good size guest bedroom. I mean, it's probably as big, if not bigger than my bedroom at the Tucson house. This one has the view out front in the neighborhood. Nice space area over here on the side. Good size closet. So, queen bed will fit well over here without a problem. So, very good size guest room. Down here, got our laundry room. Oops, I always forget where the light is. There it is. So it's a little room, it's, you know, bigger than a closet, but got your washer, your dryer, Got some towel rack area up there. And across from there, got a pantry closet right here. Now to the master. Huge. That's a king size bed, mind you. And look at all this extra space in here. All this extra room. I figure we could put the dresser over here. Have a nightstand on either side, still have a ton of room. Wake up, look outside, you got your lake. There we go. Works, I figured it's better if I know how to use a camera. 
So here's the lake. And look at this. So here's like the door and then all this extra height up here. And we got your ensuite closet or ensuite bathroom. Soaker tub. Good size. Shower. Like I said, about big as the two side of the bathroom. Got our dual sinks over here. Our little closet bath toilet here. It does have a little vent. Really good size closet. I could put all my stuff pretty much in this corner here. And you could have the majority of this area over here. Finding a size for everything we need. Trying to figure out where all the lights are and everything. So we will, that's all the upstairs that you never got to see before. Oh yeah, there's a little pull down for the attic. So now we'll go back downstairs. to the yard. The deck. It's a good size deck. Not screened in or anything, but it's a good size. Definitely fit a table out here and some chairs. Or you can just come out here and look at this. So the yard. Like I said, it's gonna be super squishy because it's so wet right now. I, mean, I don't know if you can hear it, but. So, here's the yard. I don't know if you could see, but if you look like down in this area here, cats could maybe get out through there. So, I'll put some boarding there. Other areas where it's the same. We'll go ahead and walk out back here. We'll walk out to our little chill spot. Our fire pit, our bench, and our lake. I don't know how this thing slopes, if I'd really be safe to stick a toe in there. I probably could, but not going to right now. I got shoes on. But yeah, here's the lake. You can totally set yourself up a little spot right here. Set out a fishing line, good to go. You can see the neighbors across. I don't know if you can see, but there's some, try to zoom in, you can see have some geese over there on that lawn. So, yeah. There we go, and then back to the house.